Hey guys, welcome back to VS Garage. In this video, we're gonna try to replace the fuel distributor uh, on this car. We'll see if it runs any better, you know. Um, if not, that's fine. I mean, I'm not gonna be worried about it, but you know, since I've had this uh, fuel distributor on the shelf for a while, we can uh, go ahead and put it on. It's not that hard. We're gonna see how the engine runs after that. Okay, all the lines are disconnected right there. All of these, and the cold start injector valve. Now you're just gonna remove these Torx bolts. There's three of them. T25 and this thing will come out. All the lines are out of the way. And we can carefully wiggle this thing and we'll come loose. It's gonna be a tight fit. All these lines are still kind of in there. That's the new one that's gonna go on. It's not new, but it's used, but this is the one that's gonna go on. This is the one that came out. All right, and that's the O-ring right there that broke off. It goes right over here. But luckily this one, this O-ring is good. So I'll just lubricate it before installation i don't know it seems like maybe somebody rebuilt it before something you see these yellow marks pretty interesting i just have to install the eha valve on it um and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and install everything back right now i'll probably pop this guy off just so i can clean it off this filter right here i'm gonna clean all this area be careful clean it away from the hole so you don't drop anything in there that's your intake okay and then clean right there where the o-ring sits clean all that i don't have new o-rings but these o-rings on the new distributor look pretty good so i will use those so i'll just Put a little bit of ATF on them just so they're lubricated. That's the fuel inlet and I want to flush it out. Make sure there's no trash or garbage in there. All right, guys, this distributor is ready to go back on. I lubricated this O-ring right there with the ATF. Unfortunately, I don't have a new one. So we're just going to try and install this guy. Hopefully, it all goes well. Okay. All right, guys, the new used distributor is in right now. I connected all the fuel lines except the ones that go to the fuel injectors because I'm gonna activate the fuel pumps and I wanna see how good this, this distributor is just uh, to have an idea whether it's leaking or not or it's working properly. So it's not gonna be a full test. It's just gonna be the activation of the fuel pumps. Uh, and I just wanna make sure that, you know, it's not leaking any fuel into the ports. And then once I press on the airflow plate, I wanna make sure that the fuel rises, you know, in all the ports at the same time. So this is the fuel pump reel. I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna jump a couple contacts to activate the pumps. Okay, fuel pump is activated. Right over there. Seven and eight. A seven eight contact and now as we can see fuel is going in but it's not leaking out of any ports which is good now i'm gonna press this plate i want to make sure that all the ports are filled simultaneously and they are that's good i actually saw that 
great perfect and this is one of the ways to also kind of flush out your uh, distributor you know if there's any junk that's stuck in the, those ports you do it like this and that's it it's gonna actually clean it out a little bit now we can take this thing out okay and that's it we can reconnect all our stuff um actually had to remove the climate control or the yeah uh, this uh um relay right there because i wasn't able to take out the fuel pump uh, relay so now i can put everything back together reconnect those lines and we're going to try to start this baby and keep in mind be very careful Make sure you have like a fire extinguisher or something around. Don't play with gasoline. This is this stuff is crazy. Super flammable. While we're here, we're gonna spray all these with automatic trans fluid. All these ball joints, linkages, and everything. Where everything moves nice and good. Ideally, I will have to pop them out. And lubricate them that way but as of right now we're just gonna do it like this all right everything is ready to go we're about to fire this thing up and see how she runs I feel like it started a little bit better. It still has a misfire. Oil pressure all good. That same cylinder is still not firing. So I also decided to take this injector out again and make sure that that holder is not clogged. And it doesn't appear to be, but I'm gonna take it out still carefully. And I gotta clean around a little bit before I pull it out. So. Well, I don't see anything blocking that injector from spraying fuel. And I decided not to take that holder out because this thing is in the way and usually when you try to pull it off, it's going to break off. It's really brittle. It's 30 years old. So uh, I'm going to put this injector back on carefully. And uh, yeah, that's kind of the end of the story, I would say. I also decided to remove this cap so I can inspect the contacts in there. And as you can see, the contacts are kind of not the best. They're like worn out. So I'm probably gonna remove or replace this cap, this chiller cap. See if there's any anything better with our engine performance because as you can see, they're pretty worn out. They're pretty bad. So definitely gonna replace this guy as well. Um, cool stuff. Slowly but surely. Never give up, never give up on your classic car. I'm about to wash this car as well. So it's gonna look really nice. I have a we have a garden hose here so i'll wash it probably not gonna film too much because i want to get this job done so no pressure <laughs> it's okay this means that you're just gonna be more patient now go away foam i'm done with you that amazing car i think i'm gonna put like a, a little bit of polish after that by hand since i'm a rookie i don't have a polisher right now i do have a polisher but i'm not gonna do it right now i'm just gonna put it by hand but ooh, she's getting clean A 
one guys first drive with the baby Ooh. haven't driven this car at all oh, baby I like this car. <laughs> oh, it drives nice. Uh, That's what I was telling you. Yeah, but I had to do I had to do a lot of stuff to it, you know. No, this is new. Yeah, SRS. I don't know why it came on. The airbag. Or maybe that was. It's so okay. It's, it's it's all nothing. Not, not a big deal. Yeah. Oh man, I like this thing. <laughs> oh, V8. <laughs> yeah. I love this thing. So smooth. Nothing better than classic Mercedes. Yeah, kick down and kick Yeah, down. I'm not going to abuse it right now. I'm no, just going to kind of keep driving it. Cruising kind right. Of thing, yeah. Man, I love this thing. I love how the interior cleaned up really nice too. Oh, yeah. Like, it's awesome. I'm so happy about that. Yeah, it was good. Something you had to start with. Yeah, exactly. It all messed up already. Just a little dirty. Exercise the brakes a little. Wow. And it just doesn't feel like it has a misfire, even though it does have a misfire. Yeah, you notice it because it's, it's lacking a little power. Right. It should have a little more... And usually when you first start out, it doesn't like to go right. until you warm up yeah. until about 80, yeah. like where it is now. Yeah. Then I usually would take off. I wouldn't just run cold. Right. Because it would die. No cars behind. Let's see how she does. Feels fine. Oh my gosh, I love this thing. Oh yeah. Oh, I was gonna try and sell it and stuff, and I thought, no, no, you seem to be into them, so I thought, I'll call this guy and see what Yeah, he does, thank you, know? you, thank you, yeah. yeah. That's my baby. I didn't realize yeah. the engine was that bad, the one cylinder. Yeah. But I figured whatever it was with these, it wouldn't matter. Yeah. Even if you abuse them, they still well, I, want to just keep going. You know, I'm not the person to abuse them, but, you yeah. know, I just, yeah. you know, like, since I have this car now, I'll, I'll uh, fix it up, you know? Yeah. Let's see. Even if it needs an engine replacement, it's, it's fine. Yeah. It'll have to be done properly. If you don't want the screen yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. Very cool. Yeah. Well, guys, I got to tell you that, you know, even though this engine only has seven cylinders, it's still sweet, you know, it's still going. Um, pretty amazing. I mean, it's how amazing they used to make these cars. Mitchell, do you think this car will make it to uh, Chicago from yeah. here? Hey, I believe it probably would, yeah. Because I'm kind of uh, debating to take this car to Midwest with me. It's never broken down on me. It's an amazing car. Okay. Yeah. Make sure the lights work. Yeah. Let's make sure these lights, lights all beautiful. Yay. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, there she is. Took it for a test drive. It felt pretty good, actually. Um, <laughs> lovely machine. Uh, as you can see, I only noticed it right now, but it's okay. It was repainted. All right, this side looks like they tried to blend it in, but the car is so beautiful especially with these wheels like i'm digging the looks of this car for real uh this window still needs to be fixed it's not a big deal but ooh, 
<laughs> Guys, Loki, I'm planning to take this uh, from Washington to Chicago. Hopefully. Yeah, I, can't, I, don't, I didn't do the best job washing it, actually. I saw this right now. Oh, I suck. <laughs> oh, well. It's okay. We'll give it a full detail later again. But there she is. Amazing machine, guys. Okay, guys, decided to quickly pull the valve cover off just to inspect a couple of things. And <laughs> before my trip, I actually started putting a lot of parts inside the car because I'm going to be transporting a lot of stuff. Um, but uh, ah, the chain isn't the best, all right? It's got play. It's got play. but I think we will survive those 2,000 miles carefully. This is an amazing car, amazing tank. And I also checked this oiler tube, it's good. I, I do have a kid, but you know, I'll, I'll be tearing into this engine sometime in the future for sure, but, or maybe I'll just swap it out with different one. And of course, if I decide to swap it out, I will rebuild that engine that I get, a future engine. That way I'll have new chains, new guides, everything, new seals, gaskets, and all that stuff. So it will last a uh, hundred years. But as of right now, I'll put this valve cover back together. I'll clean it up before putting it on. And um, yeah, the car starts a lot better right now. Literally from like first try, um, doesn't even crank long enough after replacing the distributor with a different one so i'm pretty happy about that and obviously you know all the belts are you know still fine you know not not the best looking some of them have a couple of cracks here and there but it's not a huge deal they will be all right i'll just condition them and then i'll also go to the store and grab some critical parts um i also want to replace the distributor cap on it for sure just so for a good measure so We'll see how that goes, guys. Uh, other than that, everything is fine. I'm trying to be very careful here. And, uh, you know, there's this engine needs to be power washed. But, yeah, that's the car, guys. Amazing machine. You know, I feel like if not me, I don't know who else would have uh, taken care of this amazing beauty. And I feel like only I buy beat up cars that need so much work. Because everybody else tends to, um, you know, just run away from these amazing cars. Sadly, they are only looking for the best ones uh, out there. But it's okay for those of you who put love to these amazing cars. If you have, if you buy beat up cars like this or some other chassis, thank you so much for doing that. Um, only us true enthusiasts will take care of these cars and will uh, make these cars last another 100 years so thank you so much for doing that i have so much respect for you seriously if i could i would just uh handshake you right now but you know i can't do it through the youtube <laughs> so thank you guys for all that